and welcome to The Hot Stuff, coming to you from the first ever good food and wine show in Durban. We're very pleased to have at the Eastern Mosaic Pavilion, Yudhika Sujanani. Welcome. Thank you very much. Everybody, Yudhika. <laughs> and a big applause to our lovely audience. Yay, there you are. Ladies and gentlemen, Yudhika is going to be doing what she calls her best ever prawn curry. Is this yes. true? Is this really as good as it sounds? It is the best ever. Oh, really? Well, take us through the ingredients, please, Yudhika. Okay, I'm going to be using, in this prawn curry, butternut, prawn, coconut milk, and orange juice with lime leaves as well. Right. And this is galangal. Okay. Galangal, okay. Okay, this is Thai ginger that's been dried. Yes. Okay, we've got some orange segments, mm. salt, a yep. bit of red chili if we need it, Yep. and sugar. I'm oh, also okay. going to be using coconut milk. So Shall it's a very, started? very quick and simple dish. Quick to and eat. simple, and it's her very best prawn curry ever. Okay. <laughs> We've got. A, I'm going a, to start with some oil in in a pot. Yeah, quite a bit, I see. A fair bit. Okay. Okay, great. Do you do you enjoy butternut soup at all? I love butternut soup. Do you? Mm, I well, love then, butternut. This this recipe was actually inspired by butternut soup. My very best friend loved butternut soup and I went down to a local store and checked out the ingredients and I found out that butternut soup had orange juice in. Right. And I started playing around with those flavors, flavors and, and created this curry. Ah, so I, that's how it came about. Yeah, so I had to... But I can't eat vegetarian food, so I popped in some prawns. Okay, I you guess. can't eat vegetarian food? No, I can't. Food. I cannot. <laughs> I'm sure you can, you just choose not to, I right? can't. <laughs> like I you can't, can't win flats or I bad can't, shoes. I can't wear flat <laughs> shoes either. I yeah. can't. Now, what is that you've just put Okay, in now I've popped in some red curry paste. Is this your own? Um, no, this is just a commercial simple so red curry paste. So you can a, a store-bought... I still red, want curry red curry paste would be wonderful. Okay. And I'm mm. popping in the butternut. Right. That's a, a fair bit of uh, butternut spice. That's a fair bit of butternut. We really seem to know how to make a dish go far. Add lots of veg and then nobody wants to eat it. Oh, right. In Except my house. They say, yeah. And I was about to say, in your case, hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to fry the butternut in the red curry paste. Yeah. And I'm popping in some water. Yeah. Can you see this, folks? Can you see Can this? Can you smell this? How long do you cook this for? Um, generally about 10 minutes until the butternut's nice and tender. But I'm going to be putting in some uh, lime leaves. These are your dried lime leaves. These are dry lime now, leaves. Now, if you don't happen to come across a grocer that has dried lime, what can you use as a substitute? There actually isn't a substitute for lime leaves. Oh. There's fresh lime leaves. <laughs> okay. I... Which you, you can get in Durban. I've, I've actually found some. And this is the galangal. This is the galangal as well. Wow. Yeah, it does have a very special aroma. Very nice. Now, okay, now okay. ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be adding the orange, orange juice. juice. Okay. Are we planning to reduce this? Uh, uh, the slightly, gonna... just okay. very, very slightly. I'm just going to put in some salt. This is our favorite molden salt. Okay, and the reason I'm using that salt is it's really, really healthy. Okay, I'm going to add the coconut milk first, and then I'm going to add the prawn. In. Oh, so prawns the prawns really cook the... very, very quickly. Yes. Now I'm just going to pour in some coconut milk. Very creamy. Very creamy. Ooh, very hot. Very hot. Um, very creamy. Very creamy consistency and color. And that's what you want. That's what I want. Okay. Yes. And Let just me gonna... guess, this is going to reduce too? No, this is just going <laughs> to simmer. Simmer. Simmer and reduce. Okay. You know, cooking is about enjoyment. It's not about TV. No? No. Now you tell me. Well, I'm always the last to know these things. Look, there's, there's, look at this. This is a picture for you. We have people who are lounging. Isn't it fantastic? Lounging and listening. It's great. It's like... It's like uh, this is what you would do at home, right? You know, we are on SABC2 and their, their slogan is feel at home. Feel at home. That's what we wanted to do when we created it. So it's so nice. It's a lovely picture. It's a very nice picture. So, ladies and gentlemen, Yudhika is now I'm simmering. Hurry. She's not. Don't, you're not under pressure, dear. It's okay. Now we're simmering the um, orange juice that, and we've just added the coconut, coconut milk. Coconut milk, yes. And 
I assume the next stage is the bit where you add the the prawns, the prawns. and the orange segments. And now the orange segments uh, is it just a follow on from the orange juice that you added? Yeah, it actually. You want, do you want a tang acidic kind of taste to it? Or? Yes, but also the orange gives it a very very the orange segments. And the give reason the you added the milk and and are going to add the sugar is that to balance it? Yes. Okay. Uh, it is a, a Thai sort of inspired soup, yes. Asian flavors. So Thai food, Asian food is about balancing sweet, sour, salty and hot. Typically what would you serve this with usually? I would serve this with the basmati rice because I think that's my favorite. With this sugar? Pop in a teaspoon of sugar would be fine. Teaspoon of sugar. Tiger. These are tiger prawns and they've just been shelled and deveined. Right. Are we ready to add this in? Okay, if you must. All right. In go the prawns, ladies and gentlemen. The moment we've all been waiting for. Okay. Okay. Oh, it looks like a prawn cake. It does. But the important thing about cooking prawn is not to overcook your prawn, okay? You don't want it to... No simmering or reducing there. No, no. No simmering or reducing. There's an absence of green in this. I, s I assume that the coriander is going to be your garnish. Yeah. Okay, and that is my best ever prawn curry. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, so this dish is being served with the Speco Low GI Basmati Rice. Okay, do you need a fork? Here we go. Okay. Did you practice your mmm? I, I was brushing back on uh, my... So I was trying to, uh, trying to extend oh, my vocabulary. Oh, we've got all tape with you, Imran. All right, okay, are you guys, ready? One, two, I'm going for this. I'm going in. Three, two, one. Mmm! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the butternut really works, I must say. And so is it the best ever prawn curry you've ever eaten? Well, it certainly is today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Yudhika Sujinani. Thank you.